Let me bring in Scott Keogh, the CEO Welcome. of Audi of America. <laughs> Behind us is the e-tron. You unveiled it last night. Audi's we did. first all-electric vehicle. Uh, you believe this is going to hit the sweet spot of the market, don't you? Phil, I 100% believe. If you look at the reaction we got last night to the car, the reaction from our dealers across America. You opened it up for reservations last night. we opened it up for reservations. And in fact, you know, we did a special edition, and that special edition is already sold out. So the reaction is quite strong. The luxury EV market is, is poised to explode right now, yeah. which brings up the question, is there enough demand there? Obviously, Tesla yeah. is the 800-pound gorilla right now yeah. when it comes to luxury EVs. You think there's enough demand there for you guys and everybody else who's coming into the market? Well, there's enough room for us. I'm not sure there's enough room for everybody, but I think there's definitely enough room for us. And look, if we look at the market, we project in the next couple of years EV premium sales up to 350,000 units. You know, it's just over 100,000 today. So I think there's good room for growth. But frankly, to me, it's simple. Launch a really cool car. That's what they want in the luxury market. This is a super cool car. I'm convinced we're going to see the growth there. You have yet to have this certified in the U.S. that's being in the process certified exactly. for the range. But you expect yeah. it to be somewhere in that 260, 270 mile range, somewhere around there, roughly speaking. But if it comes in below the Model X, which it's going to be compared to, yeah. will that hurt sales? Will there be people who say, I get a little more range potentially with the Model X? Yeah. You know, I don't see it that way. I think there's a big focus on range, range, range. We have a 95 kilowatt battery. That's a very large battery. The key thing for me is not how far is the range. It's do you enjoy it from the first mile. This car has room. The car's got technology. The car can tow. And if you look at people's driving habits, that's exactly what you're focused on. So I'm a big fan of does it make sense at mile one, not does it make sense at mile 250 or 260 or whatever it goes to. And this car, 100 percent is going to deliver. And when we get over 200 to 250 miles per full range, you believe, generally speaking, people are going to say, okay, look, I, I have more than enough. Exactly. And again, when you speak to people who drive electric cars, what do they say? I don't go to a gas station. I start with a full tank each and every morning. That's what they focus on. And a lot of people dial in on, well, I'm going to Milwaukee tomorrow. Well, there's not that many people going to Milwaukee tomorrow from New York. What they do is they pick up their kids, they drive around town, they go to work. This thing's a phenomenal vehicle for that. This will be built in Belgium. Correct. Imported here to the United States. It will. There's that potential given the Trump administration, that there could be a hefty 20, 25% tariff slapped on this. I mean, that's another fifteen to $25,000, depending on the model. Potentially, could that hurt sales? Look, 25% is a gigantic number, so let's not mess around with that. But the truth is, Phil, you and I have been speculating about this for a long time. I'm a business person, not a politician. We don't negotiate tariffs. If I look at the fundamental business of the automotive industry in America, sales are at record levels. Dealers are making money. All the manufacturers are making money. Consumers are getting stunning products at a good price. The ecosystem works. So at the end of the day, let the negotiators do what they do. We think the ecosystem works here well. All we want is transparency. We like to compete as well. And let the politicians do what they do, frankly. One last question. We saw John Krafchick, CEO of Waymo, yes, at your event last day. Yep. Any deal in the works with Waymo? Not that I know of, but it's good to see John. We've uh, worked together a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Keogh, CEO of Audi nice of America. Uh, here in San Francisco, guys, as they unveiled their first all-electric vehicle, the e-tron. It's going to be in uh, showrooms second quarter of next year.